what's up guys this is yours truly if you're trying to see Warmington aka all that trust aka with the slayer come to you guys i'm making some like some stuff i'm gonna make some stuff 3g mix um like i did yesterday i saw the recipe my one of my god brothers posted a video and I wanted to try it out. It's actually supposed to be a pasta, but because uh, we're not going to be going through all of that to make the pasta, I'm just doing something really quick. I made some tube last night just to practice. So I'm going to make the pasta so you all can actually see. I'm not the pasta, sorry, the crust so you all can see how I did it. And honestly, I did not even measure because to be honest, I wasn't going to even. I know I love to say that, you know. <laughs> I really wasn't going to uh, record this, but it's just something that's just last minute. And um, I decided to make curry ones. I made Italian season ones yesterday. Well, technically early this morning. I think so. My brother had me up 2 o'clock, 1, 1, 1, 2 o'clock this morning, trying out new stuff because he won't behave himself. He want to post videos. So, how I make... Um, the Jamaican patties are we call it products and <clears throat> in Guyanese so in Guyana you know so um, I'm going to make kind of like a version of each it's like two it's like the Jamaican style and the Guyanese style in one <laughs> so uh, what you want to make sure you do I have I have flour baking powder um, salt, Italian seasoning, just a little bit of Italian seasoning. I have a lot of curry powder mixed with turmeric. Um, I have water and I put a lot of oil. Um, olive oil, you can use avocado oil, coconut oil, and we added some butter to kind of make the crust a little flaky. So, um, and also to make it easier and more manageable. Now what I like to always do is I like to get oil and I put the oil on my hand before I work the dough. And I also just take it and I rub some on my roller pin as well. So I've got this dough and I'm just going to make it, knit it really good. And one thing I love with the oil, um, because it's not going to blend in like that with the liquid, it makes it easier to manage and work with and if you get a little bit more if it's too doughy you feel it's too doughy just add a little bit of oil or just continue to knit it because the more you knit it the more the ingredients are going to absorb so i'm going to get finished knitting this and then be right back okay so i got this knitted good this is parchment paper that i have on the surface and i also put oil on this parchment paper uh, to help with the dough. Now, you want to make these pretty small because I know this this seems like a lot, right? No, you want to cut that, you want to break that into half. You want to have two small balls because when you roll these balls out, they're going to come out bigger than you think. So I'm just going to do a few of them. Butter, kind of, you know, to make sure that it's not, you don't have to be perfectly round, but the router it is, the, you know, the better it'll come out. So, and then you can get your hands and you can 
mash or whatever. But you do want this to be firm, I'm gonna add some more flour to it because I made it too loose. That's when you're um, when you're trying to maneuver it, you're gonna have some issues. So I already know I'm gonna have a problem with this one because again I, I went in a little bit too much with the oil because I didn't measure. I just did a freestyle and I was planning on recording this anyways, but I said I might as well so you all can see how I made my stuffed rolls. But uh, if I was making actual noodles, I would actually make this into like a, um, I would add egg yolks and stuff to it. Okay guys, so I did add some more flour and I decided I'm going to restart because I'm like, since I decided to go ahead and video, then I need to do it right. <laughs> because if I don't do it right and then, you know, somebody does it and then it doesn't come out right, they're going to be like, well, I looked at your video and I did what you said and it didn't come out right. So it's like, it defeats the purpose if I'm not going to do it the right way of saying that I'm video recording it. So I'm going to roll this out. I like to do is I just put a little 
bleed it there to make sure that I don't have any issues when I get ready to roll. So now, you're going to take your crust and push it down. Make sure my stuff is, I like to pat it down to pat it down a little bit, make it easier to roll. And you're going to roll the first one, one, two, and it's going to roll into the second one. That's going to be three, four, and you want to make sure you support with your other finger. Then you're going to roll into the third one, five, six, and then you're going to pull the end up, and you want to pinch your ends. Pinch your ends so that when you bake them, they don't unravel, at least not too much. So now, here you go. You got your rose petal, I mean your rose um, 